This is Witchbase News for Friday the 29th of July 2022. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week Frontier announces the launch window for update 13. A commander lands on Salvation's permit locked Proteus wave planet. There's an upcoming chance to meet and greet Frontiers production and community staff and more. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos you know the drill. The subscribe and like buttons are there. That stuff really does help the channel and if you want to directly support the work we do here at the pit then our Patreon as always is linked below. Liberum, Frontiers official joint stockbroker and nominated advisor produced an analysis of the companies current and future predicted performance this week. The report primarily focuses on what they call a deep dive into Formula 1 manager 2022 which is Frontiers current big ticket darling title. Commenting on the positive buzz around the game so far and predicting big things for its release which is currently scheduled for the end of August. The report also looks at the success of the Jurassic World Evolution 2 dinosaur customer eating movie license park simulation which also did great guns for the company in the last year. Elite Dangerous also gets a mention. The game is expecting to see continued revenue of somewhere in the region of £4 million a year through to financial year end 2024. That revenue being driven in no small part by the sales of cosmetic items through the ARK store which Frontier plan to continue to release. Currently there is no stated major paid DLC expected for ED through this time period. The report also contains a release schedule chart for all of Frontiers current portfolio of titles in the coming years and again Elite is featured on there right up until the chart ends at the end of financial year 2025. Whilst we're on the subject of ARKS store item sales there was a hiccup in the availability of this weeks ARKS store discount sale. As a result the sales availability is being extended until midnight tonight the 29th of July. The sale includes discounts on selected ship paint jobs, ship kits, weapon and engine colours. As the events in HIP 22460 roll toward their conclusion more on that in a moment a second player driven anti salvation initiative has sprung up. The first anti salad nation effort Operation Witch Hunt is targeting the assets of Caleb Witchley's azimuth biochemicals with thus far extremely successful BGS driven attacks. The new initiative called Operation Breakwater is a community goal styled delivery initiative with a heavy roleplay element to it. Details of how to participate in the CG can be found linked in the description below this video. And if you're looking to fight Thargoids in HIP 22460 yourself or just do a little dangerous sightseeing then Commander Grim Scrub has updated their excellent battle map of the system that we featured last week to reflect the increased Thargoid presence that arrived with the Thargs Day tick yesterday. You'll also find that linked below this video. This next item might just be the most elite dangerous thing we've ever reported on. At the end of June this year after construction of Salvation's Proteus wave device began a permit lock was thrown around planet 10b of the HIP 22460 system. The permit lock prevents any and all ships from entering orbital supercruise and dropping down to the planet's surface and is active in supercruise and in normal space. As far as the games lore is concerned this is an effort to protect the Proteus wave device whilst it's being constructed but of course in real terms Frontier just doesn't want players seeing what is or importantly isn't yet happening down there. Elite Dangerous is one of the most unusual of games however and as such it tends to attract the more unusual mindsets into its very creative community. Only in Elite Dangerous would a commander think that if a ship can't land on a planet then how about throwing a car at the planet instead. To be fair the pilots federation permit lock was very non specific on the subject of cars. Onto the scene then steps commander disemboweled Ego from the Frontier forums. 
not one to be troubled by such trivialities as permit locked planets, disembowelled ego decided to, in their own words, yeet their SRV from HIP 22460 planet 10C to the permit locked 10B. Yes, crossing the distance between planets and bypassing the permit lock on 10B with a car. Once the 3.32 megameters between the worlds had been crossed and the SRV successfully soft landed on the surface there was still the 400km drive to the nearest Thargoid surface site to complete. A drive that takes no less than 4 hours. Perhaps unsurprisingly once the commander arrived everything was very much as we'd left it prior to the permit lock coming down. There was no proteus machinery or azimuth biochemicals infrastructure evidence. At least not yet. With a permit lock in place commanders shouldn't be down there to see it and so there's no reason to build it in game. There's one final magnificent detail on the whole adventure however. After a ship recall effort the commanders vessel was unable to reach the planet's surface due to the permit lock however it appears such restrictions are an insignificant triviality to everyone's favourite space uber taxi service as Apex Interstellar promptly arrived to carry disembowelled ego back to civilization again. The act of yeeting an SRV into space in Elite Dangerous is not a new thing. Indeed crossing the distances between planets in an SRV has been done before in Elite Dangerous. I'm not sure that circumventing a planetary permit lock using this method has been attempted before. However, it's the sheer genius bloody mindedness of attempting to circumvent this particular planetary permit lock with an SRV that makes this whole endeavour just glorious. You'll find a link in the video description to Disembowelled Ego's forum post about their mammoth journey including all the screenshots from the surface. During the Elite Dangerous fortnightly livestream last night community lead Arthur Tolmy mentioned that Frontier are hosting a number of what they're calling Mixer events at various gaming conventions across the globe in the coming months. The first of these being at the Gamescom event in Cologne in Germany. The show itself runs from the 23rd to the 28th of August and the Frontier Mixer event whilst limited to 100 guests is free to ticket holders. There are no plans to announce anything at the Mixer it's purely a meet and greet social event but Arthur will be present as will other members of Frontiers production and community staff from across their portfolio of titles if you'd like to meet them and ask them any questions. To bag yourself some tickets then keep an eye on Frontiers feeds on Twitter and Facebook this coming Monday. The really big news from the livestream however was the expected release window for update 13 to Elite Dangerous Odyssey. It's expected that in tandem with the narrative progressing in the game currently update 13 will, alongside further optimizations, fixes and enhancements, deliver the finale of the Azimuth Saga and the after effects of the Proteus Wave project from Salvation, whatever they may be. Frontier announced that update 13 to Elite Dangerous Odyssey will be arriving in the game during the second week of August. There are still two azimuth related community goals running in the game currently. Those both end next week on Thursday the 4th of August. The following week update 13 arrives in the game. Nearly two years of narrative in game have been building toward this. Will we learn salvation's true nature? Will the Proteus wave be successful in driving back the Thargoids? There isn't long to wait now. What do you think the Proteus wave is all building to? Will you be heading to Gamescom or are you perhaps planning on throwing a car at a planet? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then. 07 Commanders follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.